चैप्टर नंबर टू एफ आर पामर सीमेंटिक्स का चैप्टर नंबर टू हम आपको से द स्कोप ऑफ सीमेंटिक्स सो इन चैप्टर नंबर टू वी विल डील विद टू पॉइंट वन विच इज क्वाइट नेमिंग इन नेमिंग वी डील विद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ कैन वी सिग्निफाई द थिंग्स और हाउ कैन वी गिव साइन टू द थिंग्स और कैन वी सिग्निफाई द थिंग्स और कैन नॉट सिग्निफाई द थिंग्स और थिंग्स लाइक दैट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो विद सम काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वी कैन सिग्निफाई और कांट सिग्निफाई वी विल जस्टिफाई द थिंग दैट कैन वी सिग्निफाई दीज थिंग्स और नॉट मतलब के कहने का कि कैन वी गिव साइंस टू द थिंग्स और नॉट कि हम उन चीजों को साइंस से डिनोट कर सकते हैं कि नहीं कर सकते सो दैट विल बी डेल्ट इन नेमिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वर्ब्स वर्ब्स एक्चुअली आर द एक्शन वर्ड्स एनीथिंग दैट इज परफॉर्म्ड इज क्वाइल द वर्ब सो द वर्ब्स आर द एक्शन वर्ब फॉर एग्जाम्पल रनिंग हाउ कैन वी साइन रनिंग रनिंग को अगर हम साइन करने पे आते हैं तो हाउ कुड वी साइन रनिंग के रनिंग में हमारे पास होता है वी यूज आर लेग्स टू रन वी यूज आर हैंड्स टू अप्लाई फोर्स वी समटाइम्स लोड आर हेड बैकवर्ड रन करते हुए हमारे पास ये जेस्चर्स होते हैं ठीक है तो वट कंड जेस्चर्स विल वी डिनोट क्या हम वहाँ पे सिर्फ लेग्स की मूवमेंट दिखाएंगे तो वो रनिंग होगी या फिर हम वहाँ पे सारी मूवमेंट्स दिखाएंगे तो वो रनिंग होगी या फिर हम वहाँ पे जस्ट हैंड्स की मूवमेंट तो वो रनिंग होगी सो so, हमारे पास पता नहीं है हमें कि व्हाट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स डज रनिंग डील्स विद ओके मतलब पता है बट वी कैन नॉट सिग्निफाइड प्रॉपरली हमारे पास कुछ उसको स्पेसिफिकली सिग्निफाई करने का या फिर हम कितनी स्पीड से भाग रहे हैं तो हम उसको रनिंग बोलेंगे और अगर कितनी स्पीड से चल रहे हैं तो हम उसको वॉकिंग बोलेंगे तो दैट ऑल थिंग्स आर डेल्ट इन वर्क सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस हम वर्ब्स को सिग्निफाई नहीं कर सकते प्रॉपरली सिग्निफाई नहीं कर सकते प्रॉपरली कैटेगराइज नहीं कर सकते क्यों बिकॉज वी डू नॉट हैव एनी प्रॉपर डिस्टिंगशन फॉर द वर्ब्स नेक्स्ट एड वर्ब All the adverb uh, words that add meaning to the verb are called the adverbs. So, can we classify adverbs? We have an adverb fast. How fast? Is it one twenty kilometer per hour, or is it twelve kilometer per hour? If you are taking twelve kilometer per hour as fast, then it is fast actually. कि twelve kilometer per hour भी आपके पास fast है किस हिसाब से कि अगर एक person हमारे पास zero की speed से चल रहा है and the other person is walking with the speed of twelve kilometer per hour, then obviously he is the faster one. So we cannot categorize fast or any adverb because we um, we can have different kind of uh, you can say comparisons according to which uh, a lower one can also be the faster one for another. For example, if the person is uh, walking with zero kilometer per hour, okay, the and the second one is walking with twelve kilometer per hour, and the third one is walking with one twenty kilometer per hour. So. This one is slower according to this, but faster for this. So, a single entity can be faster and slower at the same time for different comparisons for different things. So, adverb cannot be classified or categorized. Next, we have adjective. Um, adjectives can adjectives be categorized? Okay, we have an adjective. Good. um is it good um 50% or 100% or 70% or 0% okay if we have this scale then obviously this one is good and if we have this scale then obviously this one is also good and if we have this scale then it is not good okay but according to this one this is also good so we cannot give a perfect definition of what good is good can be um 70% good or it can be 80% good or it can be 50% good so we cannot categorize good as well it means we cannot categorize adjectives okay categorize means signify we cannot signify the things Okay, we can signify only the proper nouns. Why can we signify only the proper nouns? Because um, we can say, if we talk about a proper noun, that is, for example, Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is more beautiful than you can say uh, any other building in Agra. So, Taj Mahal is categorized or classified. Okay, 
तो अगर हम प्रॉपर नाउंस की बात करें तो ताजमहल का हम ताजमहल ओके वी हैव अ प्रॉपर सिंबल फॉर यू कैन से समथिंग लाइक ताजमहल सिंबल ठीक है ताजमहल की पिक्चर हमारे पास होती है वी हैव अ प्रॉपर सिंबल फॉर ताजमहल ओके और हमारे पास अगर एक फॉर एग्जांपल कायद आजम तो कायद आजम के लिए हम कायद आजम के मज़ार को यूज़ करते हैं तो इस तरह के हम थिंग्स यूज़ करते हैं तो हमारे पास क्या है कि वी कैन सिग्निफाई ओनली द प्रॉपर नाउन्स एंड नॉट इवन द कॉमन नाउन्स कॉमन नाउन्स की नॉट बी क्लासीफाइड ओके वाई कॉमन नाउन्स कैन बी क्लासीफाइड वी हैव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉमन नाउन चेयर सो कैन चेयर बी क्लासीफाइड it can be um chair without arms okay it can be a chair with arms a chair without back so which kind of chair are you talking about we cannot give a proper distinction of what kind of things we are talking about in the common nouns that is why we cannot classify the common nouns okay we do not have a proper statical signified for both the common nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs verbs ke liye proper signified nahi hai adverbs ke liye proper signified nahi hai adjectives ke liye proper signified nahi hai and even common nouns ke liye bhi hamare paas proper signified nahi hai so next hum aa jate hain prepositions ki taraf um prepositions ko kya hum prepositions ko signify kar sakte hain the answer is no we cannot signify the prepositions why this is the preposition on okay is this on the table or if i put it on the um shelf of the table then it will also be on the table right okay so is it on the register is it on the register is it on the register yep all the three were on the register but we cannot um, classify or we cannot properly signify which place we're talking about if i say that um, we uh, we have these books okay this is on the book okay so this is also on the book this is also on the book so we cannot classify things according to the we cannot classify the prepositions actually on cannot be classified at cannot be classified in cannot be classified so we cannot classify the prepositions in short okay next we have um up and other preposition can up be classified Uh, if a bird is flying up in the air how much high would be considered as up if the bird is only 5 cm in the air it will also be considered as up in the air if the bird is 10 cm above in the air it will also be considered as up and if the bird is flying high in the sky it will also be considered as up so no proper signified for the prepositions like on up at in and all the other prepositions we cannot signify the prepositions as well next abstract nouns the nouns that cannot be touched are called the abstract nouns so it is difficult to uh, signify abstract nouns because they do not exist in real world for example in the fairy tales we have cinderella cinderella didn't exist in the world we have snow white we have um, aurora all these princesses didn't exist in the world so they are the abstract ones we have seen them in them in animations but they are the abstract ones ki humne inko real world mein nahi dekha they do not exist in the real world for example um you can say i gave him an advice gave i gave him a cup of tea you use the word gave for the abstract as well as for the concrete noun so this kind of words can also not be signified can we signify gave no because it's an abstract noun you gave you gave something so it is an abstract noun it cannot be touched so the quality of giving the property of giving cannot be touched the thing that you are giving can be touched but the property or the action of giving cannot be touched so abstract nouns we haven't seen in the real world and have no statistical characteristics and definitions they do not have any kind of statistic definitions or characteristics next we have pronouns 
can pronouns be classified pronouns can also not be classified for example um i v u he and she if i am talking at sometimes i will be i for me but uh, if you are listening to me then you uh, uh, according to you i will be she that if i am talking about myself to i'll say that um i am teaching the lesson and if you will be talking about me you will say that she is teaching a lesson so the i can be a she can be a he can be a you according to the perspectives we uh, pronounce do not different things in different uh, times for example if i am speaking then at that time i am i but according to your perspective i am she you will say she is speaking okay sometimes even the physically present objects can be signified Be- uh, they are not necessarily having a common signifier um you can say they cannot have a proper signifier because they have changing characteristics for example a chair when the chair was evolved is it a wooden chair or a plastic chair is any one of you sure about that is it a wooden chair or a plastic chair no we are not sure about that so it evolved and it changed over time and that is why a chair cannot be classified a chair cannot be signified because it changed with the passage of time we are not sure about either it was a wooden chair or a plastic chair at that time we can have more than two names for a single noun and can also have a lot of things having a common name to clear the confusion of common noun we use this term we need to involve the proper nouns to clear the confusion of common nouns we need to involve the proper nouns we can have more than two names for a single noun for example um we can say this is a ball point some people refer it as a pen some people refer it as um you can say a pencil to write something with right so um for this single thing we have a lot of names and sometimes we have um you can say different things under a common name for example the wooden chair the plastic chair the chair without arms the chair without back the chair with back the chair with um you can say um handles we can uh, these all the chairs are considered under the, a single word a chair so the um nouns can have more than one name for a single thing or only one name for more than one things okay we have two point of views philosophical point of view is further divided as two list realist and nominalist realist says that all things have a common name have something in common or some common pr- uh, property some property established what a ch- what is a chair hill and mountain yani ke realist jo log the ye kehte the ki some t- uh, jo bhi hamare paas koi name hai kisi cheez ka it must have some related property with a certain thing it must have uh, something in common with the other thing for example agar wo keh rahe hain ki agar teen char type ki chairs ko hum chair bol rahe hain to obviously unme kuch common hoga that is why we are calling it a chair and we have something in common that all uh, chairs are used to sit upon but on the other hand the nominalist point of view says that the things having common names have nothing in common but the name they have nothing in common but the only thing in common is just their name no reason behind their names so these were the two points realistic and nominalistic of philosophical point of view and that is all about 2.1 i hope you found this video useful and if you find this video useful just share it with your friends so that they can get the same information you got from this video thank you for watching